I teach youth ministry. I'm a professor of youth ministry at Eastern University, which is a Christian liberal arts university in the western suburbs of Philadelphia. And uh, I was a youth pastor before I came to Gordon Conwell. Graduated, went back to the Philadelphia area to be a youth pastor. That's where I met Duffy. And then uh, in 1990, we started this ministry called the Center for Parent Youth Understanding, which I've been doing since, studying youth culture and helping uh, parents and youth workers and pastors and anybody else who's working to connect with kids see youth culture as a cross-cultural mission field. So we're working to help them not only understand that, but respond to that biblically and Christianly. And, and, and Walt's work um, overlaps with mine a lot because, well, first of all, we both care about, uh, we're sort of kindred spirits. We care about a lot of the same things, uh, and we care about them in the same ways, uh, that we want to approach our work uh, informed by theological reflection, uh, which I think is part of our, oh, yeah. our Gordon Connell heritage. Something I've been working on for a long time now, um, the last year and a half, and spending a lot of time immersed in, and that's the whole world of uh, emerging technologies, digital technology, social media. Everyone's talking about it. We certainly know about it that way, but I don't think we see it as an issue because we just swim in it so deeply. We're so immersed in it ourselves that we're not thinking about what does this mean in terms of how young people develop, uh, develop what does this mean for how families interact. Somewhere we have to kind of help uh, teenagers. We, all of us need mm -hmm. to be, become practiced in the discipline of, of stepping back and l looking reflectively, you know, with, through a biblical lens and saying, well, you know, what am I swimming in? How is it impacting my perceptions? What I drink, what I breathe, what I eat, what I think. And, uh, and that, I think, is a, that's a skill that uh, is, is underdeveloped to our harm. I, I suppose one of the questions one might ask is, well, well, why should I go to seminary if I, I studied youth ministry in college? And, and my answer is, is very, very succinct. Uh, it, provides, uh, it provides root, it provides foundation. Um, because we're in a liberal arts university, uh, there's a limit to how much theological founding they're going to get. So even having a, uh, an undergraduate Christian education uh, at a Christian college, that there were uh, defic I, I, well, deficiencies, yeah, in terms of Bible and theology. I felt that I could go further, and I wanted to take students deep. So I knew that to, to be able to do that, I had to pursue that myself. So I came here specifically for that. I remember walking up the steps of the library here a couple of days before I was going to graduate with my MDiv and talking to a friend, and I remember distinctly saying, man, I wish I knew as much now as I thought I knew when I came in here. And I just think that's a great posture, and it benefits our students, it benefits the church, it benefits their families, and it certainly benefits us.